Hello YouTube, my name is Jax and welcome to the channel. So this is probably devlog like 34 or something stupid like that. We, we're really getting up there with the devlogs. But um, in the last video, I did like a little reaction to this software that I found called Cascader. Well, I didn't find it. I kind of found it, I suppose. But it's been out for like a year or something. I'm kind of a bit slow off the mark with it actually, to be honest. But I'm relatively new to Unreal and Blender and that anyway, so I'm just kind of catching up with a lot of stuff. But um, what I said in my last video is that I'm limited by my animation skills, so I'm sort of limited to mixing my animations and stuff like that. So I've found this software called Cascader, which is really helpful when it comes to making player animations and things like that. And, um, and it's really, really good, actually. So... What I've done, I've been working on a couple of animations. They're not brilliant animations. One I'm pretty happy with. I've made about five different animations. So with this this animation, I'm not really happy with this animation, to be honest. So I you import your character rigged up so you can rig it up in Mixamo and stuff like that. You um make your animation. Can't really explain how to do the animations that well. I don't understand it fully myself. But it's it can be quite complicated the way you have to set certain limbs and then you have to sort of reset the limb to be able to put another limb in another place. It it it's almost like a bit like a puzzle doing an animation in Cascado. It's more like a game, but it 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 has some really good results. So this is like one of the animations I've made. So so actually. In a mixer mode, there's this sliding animation that I've wanted for ages, and, and this is the sliding animation that you've seen here, right? But it was never in place on mixer mode. The, the animation isn't in place, which you kind of need it to be so it can run smoothly and it doesn't sort of shoot forward. So I've never really been, at, been able to use that slide animation because um, it's not in place. But using Cascader, I just adjusted it. I just took that animation and adjusted it so it was in place and that and now this this animation works pretty sweet. Look. I adjusted a couple of keyframes and stuff and mirrored it and things like that and 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 the result of that slide is actually pretty cool, I think. So I also made this animation which I think is pretty good. The one that I imported in is this one. It's like a Superman punch, but it, it just doesn't it doesn't look how it is just not not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. So I'll just do that again or I'll I'll readjust the one I've made or I'll I'll just completely redo it. But yeah, Cascadoa is good. Like I'm happy with that animation where he spins around. I'm thinking with this game, it's going to be like a third person shooter. And what's going to happen is that you, so like instead of making an aim offset where you can sort of aim up and down and stuff, you're going to have to do moves to aim in a certain way. So say I want to shoot to my left now, I can slide and shoot. See, see how he done the little, wait there, I'll show you. See, and he sh shoots off sideways. Same, same with this move. Shoots up in the air. So, so you're gonna have to react really quick. It's gonna almost be like um, a Mortal Kombat -y Street Fighter type game. Because when it when it comes to games, there's there's a couple of games that I really like. I like first person, third person shooters. I like platform games, and I like um, fighting games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. Uh, I mean, I like, I play sports games and driving games. <laughs> I suppose I like all games, but I, I I play driving games and sports games if there's nothing else to play. But my main choice is first person shooters and then fighting games. And then, pla and then I do, I do like platform games as well. But, um, so, but with this game, I want to make it like a sort of third person, a type of fighter game. So it's going to be a multiplayer game that you pretty much have to perform moves to get the other person. So say there's someone coming down towards me, you can shoot forward. If they jump sideways, 
or jump or climb up to something like this you can't shoot up and they can't shoot down you have to you have to do a move to sort of catch them with that and then i'm going to do like little force field shields and little stun bombs and stuff like that little sniper shots and and uh that's pretty much it like so i think this game will be good like um it's a per like to start with i didn't know how to do the aim offset and i was like oh no you can't really do an aim offset i mean i can't it, you in this one you can't do an aim offset so i learned how to do it I, I could just do an aim offset if i wanted to it's not super difficult but um i think it will make the game more interesting and more unique if you was limited to the angles you could shoot by the moves you could do so for example like you might have to do like a uh, back forward left and then you can do that move or or left left and do that move or uh down and slide to do that move so like you know there's you you have to be sort of you have to be reacting to the player that's coming towards you with a move they could do another move so basically the gunfights that you have with people just one-on-one -on -one might last you know might be a battle of wills because you're going to be missing most most your shots because it's going to be hard to to catch them on that uh on that angle and the faster and slicker you can do their moves the quicker you'll be able to take your enemy out that's my plan it might be really complicated or it might not work when it comes to like being a server in a multiplayer type game but i'm going to try and do it like that but yeah so basically like the the aim of this what video wasn't to talk about this game that i'm working on it's, it's more to talk about uh cascada and and how actually easy i'm finding it. it it like i really do recommend if you're like a new developer game developer i suppose i could would call myself a game developer now i've got i've not been doing it for ages but i've learned enough to understand the work that goes into it and i've also learned enough to be able to get on with it and without watching tutorials and, and I, I could do that about two months ago maybe so now i'm only turning to tutorials when there's something that i can't do or something that i can't work out why it's not working so i'll just turn to tutorials and stuff then not that i'm i, I am still watching a lot of tutorials i'm still learning a lot of stuff um i'm by no means an experienced game developer but i would probably label myself a game developer now ish <laughs> I, I don't know if i'm jumping the gun a bit but i i am sort of getting on with it a bit but my point with that is that because i'm so new and so early to it that cascada if anyone's in the same situation as me download cascada and start practicing with it because you'll be very happy with the results you're getting maybe not instantly but just just persist with it and it helps a lot it helps a lot and it's so easy just to to just export the animation without meshes and and, and import it into your character in in unreal that um it's unreal <laughs> no it, it it really is good castor is really really good so it's just a massive recommendation really but yeah that's about it guys um thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye